Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree and welcome to the assembly video for our makeup gift card holder. This is a pretty clever little piece and as you can see here in front of me, um, well, we're putting together a little compact and uh, well, you can pick out whatever colors you want and of course put a gift card to a makeup store like an Ulta or wherever you get makeup these days. I obviously don't wear makeup, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, I know that Gabby's gonna love this, and I'm sure many of your friends and family, especially the younger girls, teenagers, will love receiving this for the holidays. Um, so let's just jump right into it here. Um, this is the card base. Okay, when you open it up, you're gonna have the gift card here, along with all of your makeup and your little tools. We're gonna actually put a little mirror in here too using some foil, okay? So I'm gonna start off by getting this glued into place. And with this, you'll notice that there are two little markers there in the corners to help you with the placement of that. And also you wanna make sure that you are not obstructing these little slits here where the gift card goes. Okay, so let's flip this over and begin applying our glue. And we get that in place. This fun little paper piecing project, not difficult at all. And I just had my glue nozzle cleaned out. And of course, it's so dry here right now that things are just drying like crazy. I may need to get a little humidifier in here. Okay, go easy on the glue here, especially if you too are using a like a gold foil. Uh, if we get glue on the foil it will probably show up. I don't want to blemish anything. Speaking of blemish, obviously this is makeup related. Okay, so very gently pop that into place, nice and centered. And again, don't obstruct the little gift card holder. Should have an even border going all the way around and that is perfect. Okay. All right, so next, why don't we just put this one in place as well. Okay. And this is just gonna go right here. Again, try to maintain a nice even border all the way around. Nice and easy with the glue. Don't need to overdo it. The cool thing about this entire bundle is that these pieces all go together very quick. I know you're probably, just for the holidays, you may have you know, a handful of these that you want to send out and you don't want to spend eternity working on them. The holidays are busy enough as they are, or as it is. Okay, so again, nice even border all the way around. If you need to give it a little nudge, do so, that's fine. And press that into place, nice and easy. Okay, perfect. Let's take our little mirror. Again, you can see it's just a, it's just a foil. There I am. Hello. Kind of looks like a funhouse mirror, but it gets the point across. If you find an actual mirror, you know, that looks better, you could definitely use it. It's not a bad idea actually, but I, I guess what are the odds of finding one that fits these dimensions perfectly? So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Okay, again, pop that right in there. Nice even border all the way around. Nice and centered. Okay, if you have if you're using this type of foil, you have gunk on your fingers, try not to touch the surface of this. It's not very forgiving. Okay, there we go. Wonderful, let's close this up. And on the front, we have this little panel. Let me double check that, yep. And actually we're gonna take and we're gonna use some foam squares to put that on there. Now before we do that, um, I wanna mention that we included the Dreaming Tree Designer logo, which is this guy here. You'll notice that there are some little score marks on here to help you with the placement. If you don't want to use that, we've included an alternate little piece here. Okay, you just glue, you've got the black layer first, glue that in the center, and then put this in the center of that, like so. And then you're gonna take and glue this to the center of this, or actually you can foam square it too if you want. Um, but I'm going obviously with the with the Dreaming Tree designer icon, or logo, I should say. Yeah, this glue is not cooperating right now. And if you're doing this as well, just go very easy 
with the glue on this. You don't need a ton, but try to get the little extremities here, the very edges and tips of the letters, and then use the little guides here. Uh, before you put it down, just kind of familiarize yourself with the little score marks. They're kind of difficult for me to show you because they're so small, but you'll figure it out. Just line that up as accurately as you can. There we go. That looks cute. Okay, we'll flip this over and we'll grab our foam squares. I'm going to start around the corners. And then I'll work my way in here. And then we'll do a few in the center as well. I also ran this through my embossing machine because it looks kind of cool embossed, almost like it's uh, almost like it's made of leather or something. Gives it a nice texture. Okay. And we'll peel those off and pop that in place. And then we just have some makeup to put in there. We've got um, some makeup tools, a little brush. I don't know what they're called. Probably should have educated myself on this, but again, um, only makeup I ever put on is for Halloween. <laughs> okay. All right. So again, this is going to go on nice and centered. Let me make sure I'm getting it centered. There we go. Okay. Let me pop it open. We got the mirror in place and now it's time to put. Now, one thing too, um, to mention here, we do have three little bits of makeup like this. Okay. And that's actually for the envelope. Okay. So this one here, this one's the largest out of any of them. That's going to go in the center there. And then these two are actually smaller than the other ones here. And there's two of them, one purple, one blue. Those are going to go here. So reserve those for later. And in the meantime, we're going to put these down. Okay. So just go easy on the glue here in case we uh, don't get it perfectly centered. Keep that glue focused in the middle of this piece and then just do your best to get that nice and centered in there. We should maintain a little bit of a border in there just like that. Okay. And mine's a little, it's a little off, but that's, that's fixed now. Okay. All right. We've got the next one here. It's a little bit smaller. This is, what color is that? Oh, I don't know all these colors off the top of my head. That's okay. But you can have fun customizing these palettes however you want. Okay, there we go. And then we have this guy here. Get some glue on that. Again, keep it somewhat centered and ink to your heart's desire. These are really fun to ink. They're so small, but the inking really makes these things pop. Okay. I've got another one here. I think these two are the same size. They are. It's going right in there. And again, just give it a little nudge. Make sure you get that nice golden. If you're using gold, little border around all of these different colors. Okay. Next one here. Pop that right in there. Hopefully my head's not in the way. There we go. And the last one, get that in there. There we go. Okay. And I don't know where I put my gift card. I'll just grab one of these. I don't even know where this came from, but you can see here, I need to lift this up just a little bit and just slide it right in there. You can see how perfectly that fits in there. Okay. So there's the spot for the gift card and let's put our little tools together here. We'll take this piece. I've got the black section. that's going to go on top, go easy on the glue here. Nice, small, delicate little piece. You don't need a ton. And we're actually going to take and use some foam squares to give this a little bit of dimension. Okay. So just line that up with the very bottom like so. And press that together. I did ink the tip of this with a little bit of brown. Okay. Now we also have a tiny little 
element here. It's a uh, silver foil. I'm trying to find my pick-me-up tool just to make it easier. Okay, just pick that up. Whoa. Try that again. There we go. And just put a little drop of glue on there. Don't need a lot. Okay, and the thicker side goes towards the top. There we go. Perfect. Now we'll do this one. And like I mentioned, if you don't want to use the Dreaming Tree designer logo, you're welcome to use the little flower, or you can put whatever you want on there. You can make your own little logo with some fonts if you want. Here we go. And let's grab this little piece. And you know what? I gotta squeeze out some fresh tacky stuff out of here because it's not really holding very well. There we go. And just throw a little bit of glue on there. Pop that into place. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, so those are ready to go. And you can definitely, uh, one thing that I'm not sure everyone knows about, if you don't, I'll show you here. Uh, with these foam squares, you can actually take them and cut them um, pretty much as big or small as you want them. So I'm just gonna cut some into quarters. You can take this tiny little quarter piece and put it on the very tip of this little guy here. And then maybe I'll do a little half piece at the bottom, just so as long, uh, just as long as, you know, it's not, you can't see it from the side. It's all we are trying to accomplish here. Okay. And I'm gonna actually put this one down first because this one takes up way more space. So we'll flip that one over. This one, I think we can use two full-size uh, foam squares. That'll work perfectly. We'll peel that off, get it in place. Okay, and this guy is gonna go right here. Just try to keep it within the confines of the uh, this little gold area. There we go. And we'll take this guy and put them this way. Here we go. Okay, so. All right, so don't forget your gift card there. This is all done, but of course it wouldn't be complete without a coordinating envelope, which we always include with our cards. Okay, so it's all one piece with the exception of our little panel here. And that's just to give the flap a little two-tone effect. So let's open this up and get the glue going here. Just apply the glue to the entire flap and a little bit in here as well. And I'll take this piece and just pop it in there up against the score mark, get it nice and centered, and then just bring it down like so. Hold that in place. Make sure it's all sitting nice and flat. And we're kind of continuing the whole theme of makeup. And we'll put our larger piece here, larger circle in the center. Again, keeping a nice little border around there. Pardon my head. There we go. And let's go the purple one on the left and the blue one on the right. We'll close up the envelope and call it a day. Very simple little project. Shouldn't take more than, uh, well, at this point, we're under 20 minutes as far as the assembly goes because I have to hit record every 20 minutes on my cameras. So I know this is gonna be a quick one for you and your recipient is going to love it, I'm sure. Okay, there we go, beautiful. Get that out of the way. Bring these little flaps down and we'll apply our glue to these two flaps. Go a little bit heavier there. I don't wanna spread it out just yet because this stuff is drying so quick right now. Spread that out to the very edge of the tabs. 
bring this up, lay it down onto those tabs, and press. There we go. Okay. Again, uh, yeah, that's really it. I keep thinking there's more to do, but there's not. Um, you can definitely bling this thing up a little bit if you want to add some pearls or whatnot. Um, but I think it's cute the way it is. Okay, so as you can see here, I probably shouldn't do this right now, but I always do anyway. Just slide that right in there. Fits like a glove. And it's ready to go. So that is going to do it for our makeup gift card holder. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please visit us on our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the bell so you get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or anything from our latest bundle, I'd love to see it. And so would the community of over 40,000 dreamers on our Facebook group. So head over to Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Official. I will see you there. So will the rest of our community. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos. And also, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.